Hi everyone, welcome to episode 2 of my Superior Drama Tips and Tricks series and today I want to talk about customizing your instruments in a creative way using the x feature. Uh, as a little, little recap for those of you who don't know the x feature, you can of course check that on Google and YouTube. The x feature allows you to add uh, different instruments from, let's say, different expansions you have within the Superior, uh, Superior Drama to either layer them, uh, for instance, like layering two snare drums from two different expansions, to replace them or to enhance like the, the overall sound. You can use uh, the instruments within that particular library, so you can like uh, layer, for instance, those three kick drums if you like, uh, or any other instruments. But today I want to show you um, how you can even take a step further because this tool is so powerful. Um, I've just loaded up a little uh, groove within Superior Drama. Um, let's have a listen, quick listen on that. So we hear um, basic quarter note pulse on the hi-hat with the left foot, um, some uh, ghost notes um, on the snare drum and a kind of a shuffled field um, um, right pattern. So let's say we want to enhance the snare drum, we want to have it more crack um, and like to really cut through the mix. And usually what you can do, you will, would add like uh, using the X1 feature, um, kind of a snare that really fits, uh, let's pick the avatar. So let's say we want, um, uh, because now we are running the um, Black Beauty, which kind of a darker snare drum, uh, we will add the 5x10 GMS side snare. So a really cracky one um, in comparison to... Uh, and what we usually do by using the X-Drum, this is quite like um, basic. You will create a new uh, MIDI note or articulation using this plus function here. Uh, the MIDI note 1 will show up. You can, using this button, rename it just to make it like more obvious and to see what's going on, like we say the cracky snare. And now you can drag and drop the um, particular inst uh, articulations you want to be triggered within that new MIDI note. So uh, uh, always right click uh, when you are in that window, right click on the snare drum. First uh, we use the center articulation and the center articulation from this one as well. And the last thing you want to do is um, assign a MIDI note uh, for the new articulation, which is basically like a snare drum, usually when you're using at least Roland uh, modules. So this is uh, note 38. Hit enter, and when I now play back the loop, you will uh, hear and see uh, how both articulations will be triggered every time the drummer hits the snare drum or, or hits the MIDI note 38. But I want to um, take a step further. So let's say um, we want that subtle ghost note just coming from that snare drum and only when the drummer is hitting like um, his uh, loudest velocity we want to trigger that side snare as well. So you see here on the right side um, beneath both articulations you see 0 to 127 which basically determines the velocity range um, that MIDI notes um, can like provide between 0 and 127 and every time um, a MIDI note is played within that range, that particular articulation will be triggered. So as I said, I want the quietest um, or more, the more quieter parts to, to trigger just the snare drum center and only when the drummer is hitting like his loudest strokes we want to trigger the new snare drum as well. So I'll change the um, number here from 0 to let's say 115. And what will now happen is every time a MIDI note is played beneath, uh, below that um, 115, just that snare one will be triggered and everything above and equally 115, both of them will be triggered. So when I now play back the groove, um, I want you to listen carefully, of course, and to even watch um, on which articulation that little speaker symbol is showing up. So knowing that feature, of course, um, your creativity is the limit. You can add like every single articulation that you want um, to um, to really like go crazy. Um, you can of course uh, add another articulation and assign that, let's say, from zero to twenty, and another one from twenty to one hundred fifteen, and so on. So uh, you can really go nuts with it. But let's say um, like a more um, practical and creative way to add some things because this is kind of a velocity. 
paste um, change using the XCOM feature, but I want you to show another um, little thing that is kind of articulation, articulation based. So we talked about the hi-hat, that little quarter pulse node here. Uh, and what I like as a drummer is uh, having a tambourine uh, above my hi-hat. So every time I do that foot splash, the tambourine is triggered um, or is played, um, especially like in funk and jazz. And this is like a cool feature um, when um, the, the tambourine adds a nice color to the hi-hat. So as the avatar does not contain the tambourine, we will have to add a tambourine from one of the other expansions. There are several on the market uh, containing the tambourine. I will think I will pick the um, independent SDX, go to tambourine. So this is the tambourine. Uh, we go again to the mapping page um, and we will click on the hi-hat and I will just check out which particular articulation is triggered um, when the drummer is playing that quarter note pulse. So it's MIDI note 21, it's the closed pedal articulation. So knowing that, we can do the same. We go into the MIDI notes, create a new one and just rename it, let's say tambourine hats and the same we will pick the articulation uh, the tambourine just of course has just one articulation the hit and right clicking on the hi-hat as we know that this is the closed pedal articulation we will drag this one over here and we saw that this is the MIDI note 21 hit enter and when I now play back the groove uh, you should hear both um, instruments playing at the same time. And of course, once you've added um, any other instrument or any other articulation, uh, like in my case here, and I wanted to show you an um, example, let's say we, may, we do um, some other um, groove here, uh, where the drummer is playing a regular hi-hat groove, you will see um, that the tambourine is not triggered now because um, on that pattern the drummer is playing just a basic um, hi-hat groove. So we see on um, that uh, second um, beat um, is play just played with the stick, uh, basically with his uh, with the sand to play. And just when he's playing this one, um, you will add the tambourine. So like uh, in the real world, uh, when you play your hi hat with your stick, um, and um, even if a tambourine is placed above your hi hat, it will not be played unless uh, you move um, the hi hat um, um, stand, um, basically. Um, and of course, one last thing, um, um, every instrument that you add can of, can you of course like change and mix like any other. Um, I showed you in episode one what you can do with the microphone assignment. So let's say in this case, the tambourine is just a little bit too loud. Uh, just click uh, uh, within the construct windows or the basic overview, click on the tambourine button, go to the instrument section in the bottom right here where you can change the velocity of any other instruments anyway. Um, so um, I will now play the groove and let's just have a listen. Um, I will just loop that um, to adjust the, vol uh, the, uh, the volume of that instrument to have a like um, a feeling that it's matched so sound wise. So um, I hope you find this helpful as well. Just two examples how to use um, the Xtrem feature in a more creative and a more advanced way. Um, once you understand that approach, as I said, um, your creativity is the limit. Um, hope you have fun with that. Hope it helped out if you have any questions regarding this feature. If you have any other idea or question regarding Superior Drummer, please let me know in the comment section. I will really appreciate that. And thanks so far for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>